Hello everyone, welcome to part 185 of Laravel 9 series in which we are creating the multi-vendor e-commerce website. So we are going to work on the newsletter subscriber uh, that is located at the home page. You can see, uh, in fact, it is at the footer, subscribe to our newsletter. Okay, so any user can able to subscribe to the newsletter uh, by just giving, filling his email ID and click on submit. So once the user submit uh, his email, his email get registered uh, in the website to get uh, the updates to, on on promotion new arrival discount and coupons okay so uh, we are going to generate one uh, newsletter table uh, in our uh, uh, here in our database okay uh, so uh, we are going to have all the users emails in that table so anytime the client can able to send the email to all users uh, see the third party services are always available to send the email so uh, this one we will also show it at admin panel later on uh, once it will work fine we are going to show in the admin panel uh, here uh, once the user fills the email here um, we are going to add the separate module the complete module subscriber module we are going to add at the left sidebar here uh, under user management uh, like subscriber is already there but we don't have any subscribers so far okay so under subscribers we are going to have all the subscribers okay so basically uh, we are going to work on this newsletter subscriber to gather the emails okay so that the client can able to send the offer to the users from time to time okay to get uh, the more uh, orders from the users okay so let's start working on this one first thing is we are going to create the table and in that table we are going to add few uh, sub uh, emails uh, with the help of cedar okay so let's start uh, we are going to create newsletter underscore subscribers table with migration command okay we can also create directly to php my admin by using php my admin but we are going to use the migration command okay so here I'm going to create new file PHP addition make migration create newsletter underscore subscribers underscore table create underscore newsletter underscore subscribers underscore table okay so I'm going to open this one create newsletter underscore subscribe underscore table okay we are going to add few columns only ID email status okay table here uh, email uh, see string we are going to add the string for email field other than this we are, we are going to add one more field and that is for the status like sometimes if the admin want to disable the status of the email and like he can able to disable the status because uh, it is necessary to disable because sometimes uh, the one of the user don't want the newsletter feature so that time we are required to disable its status to zero okay we will store one uh, or zero in this column one for enable the newsletter uh, feature for the user and zero is to disable that feature okay email status okay so uh, i'm going to run the php artisan magnet command to create this table newsletter subscriber gets created so i'm going to refresh here and going to see if the table has been created or not uh, new data subscriber maybe here uh, go to search subscriber here it is okay we able to create this table uh, okay id email status okay create and update automatically gets created all the time so now we are going to add few emails with the help of cedar so for cedar we are going to create uh, the cedar file okay but first of all we are going to create the model as well php artisan make model 
and we are going to name it like new letter subscriber like this okay and now uh, we are going to create the uh, that cedar file php addition make cedar and this file name we are going to make new letter subscriber subscriber table cedar okay so i'm going to open this file new letter subscriber table cedar here i am going to add the query to insert the uh, emails okay but first of all i am going to include the new letter subscriber model use app models newsletter subscriber okay and here we are going to add the query uh, we are going to add the record subscriber subscribers record subscriber records okay. records here we are going to make it like this here we are going to add id then email any email we are going to add like amit under at the rate of your mail .com. and status we will keep the status as one okay one more code we are going to add with id2 and here any other 200 and status one okay so we are going to insert this newsletter model news newsletter subscriber model and insert okay, so this one subscriber records okay so now uh, we are going to run the php addition db sheet but first of all we are going to update the database seeder file as well and we are going to call this newly created uh, cedar file i'm going to copy this one and we'll paste here in database cedar now i'm going to run that php artisan pbc okay let's see so two entries have run now we can check here see the two email ids have come up amit 100 at the rate of your mail.com amit 200 at the rate of your mail.com so in next video uh, we are going to show these two entries in the end panel we are going to create this subscriber module here in the end panel and we'll show these two entry with the active inactive and delete and delete feature okay so anytime the admin can able to delete the email as well and can also able to disable the email so that thing we are going to do in the next video after that we are going to uh, add the email from here also the user can able to register uh, user can able to subscribe to the news at feature from here also okay so last thing that we will do we will add the export feature so that the admin can able to export the complete list of emails to excel file uh, for the further for sending the email okay for sending the email to all the users uh, via some other third party okay so that will uh, i will also uh, tell you about it in the next few videos so stay tuned for the next video. That's all for now. Have a nice time.